All right, everyone. Hello, my name is Gerda, and I am a student here at Karolinska Institute studying public health sciences in the master's program here. I'm also a digital ambassador for Instagram, and welcome to our live. It is all about housing in Stockholm today, and we're sure that as newly accepted students, you may be a little bit worried about where in Stockholm you would like to live, uh, so we're here to explain all of the options for you. Um, to show you everything that is available in the city, we're going to be bouncing between the other digital ambassadors and also other students who live in different accommodation options. We will show you all of the different buildings that are owned by KA Housing and some of the options on the private market as well. Everyone who is going to be participating in this live will give you some basic information about how they found their place, who they live with, how they like it, um, and of course, this live would be a lot more fun if you ask questions too. So you can shout out, ask us something using the question button below, not the comment box, and we will do our best to make sure that we answer that question. Please do know that this is all public and this live will be posted on Instagram and Facebook a little bit later. So keep your questions a little bit more general and please don't give any specific details about your particular situation. If you need that kind of help, you can always email one of the digital ambassadors afterwards and also sign up for a call instead of typing it here in front of hundreds of people. Um, we would also like to keep this topic focused on housing as we're doing another Facebook Live in a couple of weeks uh, around social life in Stockholm. And if you have any questions about your particular study, then it's much better to get in touch again with one of the specific uh, digital ambassadors for that course, as opposed to asking it here. All right, so I think we're all good to get started. We are going to be moving all around Stockholm, and we're starting in Flemingsbury with Cipriani. Hello. Hi, Cipriani and Bobby, too. Hello. 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 How are you guys? We're good. How are you? I'm good as well. Thank you so much for joining us. Mm -hmm. So it'd be great if you could introduce yourself um, and also tell us a little bit about where you live. All right. Start with me. I'm Bobby. Hi, everyone. I'm from Health Economics Policy and Management Master Program here at KI. And this is my wife, also Digital Ambassador. And her name is? My name is Sepri, and I'm currently studying um, Nutrition Science Master Program at uh, Karolinska Institute as well. So, and we live in Flemish Bay. Yeah. Wonderful. So do you mind showing us around a little bit? Of course. Oh. All right. Yeah. So here's our apartment. This uh, is our food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's quite modest. It's, yeah. That's... Beautiful, very neat. <laughs> Yes, the decoration made made from by, by our, our by kids. The girls. Yeah, by the girls. And, and this is the small kitchen. This right small here. kitchen. Mm -hmm. Because this is a studio apartment. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you have the common room and also the same room with the, your kitchen. Yeah. And at the back there, uh, there's mm -hmm. the the door to the outside. But to the can, can I have my camera here? Yeah. yeah to the right, it's uh, here. It's the bathroom, bathroom yeah. which I can. Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. So, um, if you could tell us a little bit about how much you pay approximately and how to how you found this housing option. Okay. So the the apartment itself it's from private. It's not from K housing. So it's from triple sb dot s. Dot se pong se in Swedish. So um, basically, we pay for around three thousand Swedish krona for here for the student uh, studio apartment. Studio apartment. Uh, mm -hmm. But with the same uh, um, the same size. Yeah, the same size. Mm -hmm. In K High Housing, Flemingsbury, we pay for around seventy five hundreds. So four thousand difference in price. So as a little as a little background, this is actually our second apartment. Yep. For the first mm -hmm. time we live here uh, in Sweden, we lived in KI Flemingsbury residence. 
um, in Alfred Nobel's Alley there. And then after six months living there, Bobby is also was queuing for uh, credit days here for, um, in SSSB. And then I think in June last year, yep. we got an offer here. So then we moved. So approximately we have been living here for a year. Yeah. Wonder one, how are you liking it? <sighs> I mean, for us, yeah, we, yeah, we really, like, this is um, more than enough for us. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, family with young kids. So our girls are at that time three and four. So we don't feel that urgency to have extra rooms. So we co sleep with them. So this is more than enough. And the facility, we, the, the Fleming's Berry Center is Berry. really near from us, the grocery stores. A restaurant, drug stores, and also Karolinska Hospital is right in front of our building. So it's really close, you know, like in terms of me as a mother, like, <laughs> yeah, I yeah. need to know that where the hospital, nearest hospital uh, around my, uh, our apartment and also schools, right? Yeah. Because there's several preschools here mm -hmm. to choose for our kids to go. So, yeah. yeah. Perfect. Thank you. That's wonderful. Could you tell us a little bit about the transportation options that are available nearby and how you get on camp to campus? And Yeah. For transportation, we have so many uh, bus plots here, bus plots mm -hmm. or bus uh, station. station. Uh, and we can go to, yeah. to all of uh, Stockholm's area from mm -hmm. the terminal here. But also we have Pendel, Pendel Talk uh, station also in Flemingsbury. Yeah. And it's very convenient here, actually. Mm -hmm. But if you, of course, in, in Flemingsbury, it's only master's student in nutrition science. Mm -hmm. But for me, health economics mm -hmm. program, we have our class on the Solna campus. It's very convenient. Yeah. Why? Because in front of our buildings, we have a free bus to go from Flemingsbury campus to Solna. the Solna campus. It's from a uh, facility from KI. Yeah, the panda bus and if you like yeah. search on the website. So it's really convenient. It's really near, like five minutes walk from our building and then we'll be go, fly go, go to, to the sauna. To sauna. <laughs> Only 25, 30 minutes. Yeah. That's wonderful. That's one of the great things, right? Like the transportation. And even if it's a little bit further, it's wonderful that it's easy to get there. Yeah. How about in terms of when you moved in there? Were there a lot of furniture or things that were already there? Or did you have to, you know, invest a little bit into decorating and making sure that you have everything you need? At first, we don't have any furniture at all coming mm -hmm. from our country to Sweden, of course. But uh, mm -hmm. if you reserve one uh, your place in KA housing, you will have full furnished apartment. Yeah, so you only need to yeah. bring your clothes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, only your clothes. Yeah, yeah. And your technically, speaking. <laughs> technically speaking. But if you move to the triple SB facility, yeah. you need to, yes, have invest. furniture, yeah. invest some for, for, for furniture. Because it, uh, it, it didn't come with uh, furniture so you have to buy your own furniture mm -hmm. but we managed to uh, bought our bought furniture from second, second hand, hand. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. so many second hand uh, very very good places to find it's good so furniture also yes yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 yeah yeah and perhaps like maybe other students are also like leaving something behind if they're yeah. yes maybe. exactly yeah maybe we How have some you... no sorry from the comments, we have some question. No? Aha, there we go. How, How many Q days did you have? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. 257. It's 257, all right. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. a lot of days. <laughs> six months, right? Or, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He collected that uh, credit days for six months, I think. Yeah, so maybe as, as soon as you get accepted, maybe you can uh, log into the triple sb.se and then. Maybe. Log in and then yeah, make your at, at first maybe you don't have the personal number, mm -hmm. but just using your temporary number given by the campus and then start queuing. But remember to start queuing, you also need to submit or to register to the uh, student union. Mm -hmm. And you have to pay for some uh, amount of money for one semester or even full full one year. 165 if I'm oh seven sorry 195 95 crumbs. per semester mm -hmm. and around 300 something for full one year, for one year. to activate your Q days yes. yeah all right and we would like to add a comment that um the amount of days it would vary based on demand so it wouldn't be that it, it's automatically that the apartment is worth 257 days but it depends on how many people want that particular apartment right yeah. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Thank you. That's really helpful. Um, 
so you could talk a little bit more about the pro process on SSSB. Mm -hmm. um, I guess you've talked a little bit about the wait time. Um, anything else you'd like to add on that topic, though? How do you compete against another? <laughs> How do you compete? <laughs> Starting soon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Starting as early as you can, as right? As, as soon as possible, you admit it and you made an account in student union and then start queuing. I think, yeah, that's the mm. best suggestion for, from us. Yeah. <laughs> for specific flats, no. You do not need uh, any specific wait time for that. But you, you, know, you need to have certain numbers because the one that have more rooms... Yeah actually have more queue days. Yeah. For example, 1,000, 2,000 queuing days, and you have to compete them. How can you like almost, even for you live one year here, 300, you cannot compete them. So, so yeah. yeah. I think manage your expectations. Manage your expectation also, it's your, good. Your, your options as well. All right. All right, well, that's really wonderful to hear. Um, anything else you would like to add about your particular living situation? How long do you plan to stay here? I mean, because this is actually student uh, yeah. apartment, so we going to live here until our st our study is finished. Yeah. That mm -hmm. means um, next June. Next June is the last days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this upcoming June, right? Or yeah. the June? Yes. Okay. okay. <laughs> Yeah. And then again, you're going to have to try to figure out the whole housing thing, right? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Right. Probably private housing. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Anything else you'd like to add on the neighborhood? Um, oh, yeah. What maybe I can add with what I like about this? Um, I mean, this area. Uh, I what I like the most is the proximity with the transportation. As well, both mm -hmm. has more. Mm -hmm. uh, we have like six bus stations here. Like it, it can bring you anywhere in Stockholm and then one Pendleton station. So it's really convenient. And also the proximity from our building to the school of our children. We can take uh, me personally, uh, because um, we live here and then my campus is here also in Palangisberry. So in the morning, I can take the girls to the school first and then I go to the campus. And mm -hmm. then after I, I uh, finish the whole day, I can run <laughs> and yes. to pick up my kids and then go back to, the, to our uh, apartment. So that's really convenient for me in terms of my role as well as a mother. And mm -hmm. then... Um, yeah. Do you have something to add? Yeah. yeah. What's your favorite thing, Bobby? <laughs> so many natural reserves here. Ah, yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. that's wonderful. That's and, and not only in Flamesbury, all yeah, around Stockholm. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and playgrounds as well because it's important to <laughs> to like spend yeah. the of the girls. So yeah, there are there are I think like three to five playgrounds mm. around here. So that's great. Really? Thank you so much for sharing. We have another question. Um, they're asking, can you register to the student unions before arriving to KI? Sure. Mm -hmm. After you apply and you pay for the student union membership, you can start your queuing. Mm -hmm. Right. Thank you. Any other questions that we have from our viewers? That's a good one. Are the utilities bills included in the rent fees? Yes, it's all, it's all included. So for us, 3,000 students corona, for water, for electricity, for internet, mm -hmm. it's all included. Yeah, yeah. But also, please note that our apartment didn't come with uh, our own washing machine. So there ah, are yeah. two laundry rooms mm -hmm. ground floor. So you have to kind of manage your time, organize your week in order to yeah. get um, to be able to do the laundry mm -hmm. because you only have ten sessions per yeah. month. Yeah, ten tokens. Yeah, per yeah, month. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, how much did it cost for you guys, approximately, to furnish your apartment from secondhand? Doesn't need to be specific. Approximately, approximately. if if you can get like from IKEA, maybe it's one thousand. Maybe you can get a half of it. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. yeah. Maybe fifty yeah. percent of the new one, yeah. even less. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, take uh, take notes that uh, Swedish uh, Sweden, Sweden is a very very uh, sustainable country. And even you can find furnitures from the, I cannot say it's garbage room, but million. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sort of get rid of. Yeah. yeah. Some tenants maybe have finished there, um, yeah. and then they they throw away the the the, the cabinets, the tables, cool. and then you can pick it up for free. Yeah. 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 So it's really 
didn't cost that much yeah. actually. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you for this question. A couple more. <laughs> All right. So what is the period of time? August to July question mark, or that is most people apply to when they're applying to KI housing. So that's a good question as well. It's applicable to a lot of other KI housing. We apply for KI Flensbury housing uh, from... Uh, because um, of the pandemic in, in mm -hmm. our situation, like in 2020. So we, we came to Sweden in January. So after mm -hmm. six months, of online in, in Indonesia from, from our country, mm -hmm. six months online. And then we oh. book, yeah. yeah, we book one month before our arrival yeah. to Sweden. So we arrive at January. So we reserve our place on December. Mm -hmm. So we book around October or November. But again, it, it will, I think it will be a little bit different because our condition mm -hmm. was in the middle of pandemic. So I think, yeah. right. Um, yeah. So that's and, possible. That's wonderful. Like that's your particular experience, and we're so interested to hear about that. And we'll have lots of other people who can talk about their situations too. Yeah, yeah wonderful. Sure. Okay. So, Let's see what's there... next. Yeah. We have a couple more questions. <laughs> one last one. All right, so I guess this is more of a whether to choose KI or SSSB directly, right? Yeah, for technical speaking, you cannot apply directly to SSSB.se okay. if we are international students. So, so we recommend to, yeah. yeah, probably you go to KI housing, to KI housing first. housing. So the first door of your house here in Sweden will be through the KI housing. Yeah, yeah. I love that you say that. That's such a great <laughs> way of describing it. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's like that for most of us, right? And it's such yeah. a safe option. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Especially if you haven't been to Sweden or to or, European countries like us, we have yeah. no idea at all yeah. like, what Sweden looks like and then whatever. So yeah. we chose at that time, okay, okay, like it's very, yeah, residence first. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's very convenient. And also it, it has so many places. So you, can, you don't have to queue for... Yeah, have many certain tokens or even credits to apply to get a housing. housing. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I've I had the same experience. I'm very happy. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so so much for joining us today. It was so much fun chatting with you and so helpful. So many insights. Um, I hope you get to enjoy some of the sun <laughs> outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. sure. Yeah, thank thank you. You. Bye. 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 Right. Perfect. Once again, thank you to Bobby and Cipriani. Next, we have Hien, and she lives in Jägergarten. So let's get rolling. Hi. Hi. <laughs> um, hi, Hien. How are you? Uh, I'm good. Um, it's a sunny day, so everything is fine. <laughs> I know. I think that's going to be the topic of today's <laughs> um, <Yeah>. live, <laughs> in addition to housing. Yeah. Could you introduce a little bit about, uh, could you tell us a little bit about yourself and where you live, um, what your housing situation is like? Yeah, so my name is Hien and I'm currently the master in the public health science program at KI. Uh, I'm living here in Jagger Garden, which is also a KI housing uh, mm -hmm. resident. It uh, is a dormitory uh, housing. So you meet a lot of people everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. Perfect. Do you mind showing us around a little bit? Uh, yeah, I can show you a little bit of my room. I mean, mm -hmm. so uh, it's quite small, but uh, it has everything. So first we have this. The This is a view highlight of, of my room, which is a very nice view. Uh, like you had a bed mm -hmm. and like a small table. Mm -hmm. um, a bookshelf and also a little bit like a, a small cabinet kind of you also have your uh basin like uh mm -hmm. and a small mirror so um yeah bas basically that's it about my room um, perfect thank yeah. you so much for showing it uh in jungle garden we share a uh, bathroom and kitchen um, we also have a living room, so um, yeah, the kitchen is very nice. It has like a perfect view 
but uh i'm so I sorry really I can't show you now. <laughs> yes, I know. you have a beautiful view i do too and it's something to really appreciate and enjoy um could you tell us a little bit about approximately how much you pay for it and how you found your housing option so how I found it is very easy. I just go to uh, the KA housing website and look through the every option because um, as uh, Bobby also said before, basically everyone, uh, most, of pe most of the people first uh, housing would come from KA housing. So I just scroll down through the option. Um, so for this room, I paid uh, 3,130 krona per month. And to be honest, it's the cheapest <laughs> among <laughs> their option. But um, yeah, but to be uh, and um, but the main reason I chose to be here is that because it's the dormitory and you share uh, the kitchen and the living room with the other people, so you can meet like new friends and experience cultural difference everywhere. So it's very nice. Yeah. So you would say that's your favorite thing about living there, right? Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. So how long have you been living there? Uh, so I live here, I think, eight months. Like I arrived mm -hmm. last August, so approximately. Yeah. Perfect. And can you tell us a little bit more about the neighborhood that your housing is located and what do you like about it? Um, stuff like that. Yeah. So uh, the funny things about uh, Jagger Garden is that it lo is, is located on Sodoma which is called the Hipster Island, uh, island in uh, Stockholm because like a lot of artists and everything and like artist people love to live here. And um, yeah, it, it's very near the, the city center with the panel top of the train. You can just like, it's just five minutes to the Stockholm city center. So it's very convenient. And we are surrounded by um, beautiful view, beautiful nature and everything. Um, yeah, I really like living here. That's wonderful. Um, also, it's very similar questions to what we asked Bobby and Cipriani. When you came here, what did you find in your room and what did you think that you needed to get in order to, you know, live comfortably? So because it's from K Housing, uh, the room is furnished with uh, basic uh, furniture. Uh, everything I show you, like the desk, the bedside table, like the bed, everything is uh, included. So basically, I just came here with my suitcase. I <laughs> um, I don't really need to bring anything because also the kitchen is fully equipped um, and you don't need to worry about anything. Like some people told me before that to bring um, my own plates or something like that, but um, it's not necessary. <laughs> um, yeah, I think um, the thing I buy here is mostly just like decoration and yeah, something for myself. <laughs> yes, of course. Um, so just the decorations, right? Um, did you find, did you look for also like any secondhand store options to do that or you didn't even feel like you needed that because you had everything? Well, so uh, for the furniture, I don't really need to look for anything, but um, um, I mean, Sweden. So I also made a field trip to Ikea yeah. <laughs> and yeah, uh, okay. I found some nice and cheap stuff there, um, like lunchbox, lunchboxes mm -hmm. and um, the small carpet that I have in my room. Uh, otherwise, I also found like uh, small stuff in a secondhand shop. Um, yeah, there are a lot of those on Sarama, <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for sharing. I think we have some questions uh, coming from our viewers. So, how many people do you share the bathroom and kitchen with? Uh, so, in Jagagatan, each floor would have two corridors. And each, co each corridor would have 12 people, but we have like um, four different bathroom and four different um, toilets. So uh, it's not that many people that you're sharing the bathroom in the bathroom with. And for the kitchen, um, 12 of us share a kitchen, but uh, the kitchen mm -hmm. is, um, is spacious. So it's very nice. 
Yeah. Do you ever feel like with the bathroom and the kitchen that you, do you ever run into any difficulties of how many because of how many people there are, of, of, because of how clean people are? Can you tell us a little bit about that? What it means to like actually live with other people and share those spaces? Okay. So so for the bathroom, um, yeah, like once in a while, we, uh, I would have to wait for someone to I don't know finish the shower or something. Yeah. But uh, normally that wouldn't be a problem because we have different, like so many different bathroom and shower rooms uh, and toilets. So if one is uh, occupied, you can just go to another one. And also we have a cleaning lady uh, from mm -hmm. K Housing that come every day to clean the bathroom and the toilet. Mm -hmm. So that is super awesome. Uh, and for the kitchen, since we're living together, uh, we also met some rules within ourselves to like um, how to keep the kitchen clean and mm -hmm. um, because we sharing us uh, the same um, the common space so if you find something very uh, annoying for example mm -hmm. like uh, something is dirty you can just like text it in the group and yeah we don't mind that yeah and that's a nice way that's something to learn about when you live with others to how to communicate and how to keep those places clean and comfortable. All right. How long did it take you to get an answer from KA Housing since you applied? Um, I think it was about like uh, a month, something like that. Uh, because uh, I, I think I applied in May and then I got the housing offer in June. So it's quite a fast, I think. Yeah. And you're like, you're one of the... You're one of the early birds, I guess, in May, right? Like you found out that you got in in April and then you applied right away. Yeah, because like um, I come from Vietnam, so it's far away. And I just mm -hmm. like I just want to get everything set before I really buy the ticket or something. Of course. Of course. And um, was it difficult to fill that application out regarding the housing? Uh, no, it's uh, super easy. Everything is there. You just need to fill in your uh, personal information and you choose the... Uh, it's also similar to the way that you um, apply for the school because you can uh, rank your option, like who, mm -hmm. uh, which one do you want? So it's very easy. Yeah. And how did you... So you decided because of this place, because of the shared aspect because you would get to meet other people, right? Any other things that you considered when you were putting those places into rankings? Um, mostly just about like uh, the communication with the people. And um, yeah, also because it's very near to the city center. So I think I can discover more. Yeah, <laughs> I really love the island and location and that's really wonderful. Um, anything else you'd like to share about your housing? Anything that we haven't covered yet that you think is important that you enjoy or something that you think that the people who are going to live there should really keep in mind or bring or anything like that? Um, about bringing, I don't think you really need to bring anything <laughs> because it's so fully equipped. I, I was surprised yeah. myself as well. But um, I think if you decide to live with um, care housing in Jagger Garden, uh, mm -hmm. to be specific you can uh, experience many new things we often have like corridor dinner every two yeah. or, or like one or two weeks so it's very nice so you think it's very social and they're yeah. like welcoming and yeah that's wonderful but yeah it's uh, super uh, normal if you want to stay uh, alone in your room sometimes mm -hmm. yeah. everyone would respect that Wonderful. That's a really wonderful option too. Well, thank you so much, Yen. We're so happy that you joined us today and told us about your wonderful living situation and answered some questions. Again, I think I'm going to wish this to everybody, but I hope, I hope you get to go outside and enjoy some sun and enjoy your Friday. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. All right, moving right along. And now we have Grace, who is actually our Facebook ambassador. She's going to talk a little bit about a private living accommodation for so we're so excited. Grace. Hi, Grace. Hi. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. Happy to be here again for the second year in a row. That I'm I know. <laughs> this time. All right, Grace, tell us a little bit more about yourself first and then where you live. 
<laughs> Hello, everyone. So as you may have seen from the 17 million other Facebook lives that I have done in my time as a digital ambassador, um, I'm in my second year of the bio entrepreneurship program, which is a combination of business and biology. Um, I'm originally from the United Kingdom. I did my bachelor's in biomedical science in Maastricht in the south of the Netherlands. Uh, and now I'm here loving it in Stockholm. Amazing. Uh, yeah. So my housing situation has been a little bit interesting, um, nearly entirely self-caused. So as I tell you this story, don't freak out. This will not happen to you. It was just me and my bad wife decisions. Um, <laughs> so when, no, I, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> when I first arrived in Stockholm, I also lived in Fleming's Bay, uh, which is where Cipriani and Bobby were living when we just came to them. So I'm just trying to fix my hair. Um, mm -hmm. I was down living in Fleming's Bay, and then one of my friends from the Netherlands uh, was also moving to Stockholm, so we found an apartment together. So if you go back and watch this live from last year, you'll be you'll see me in my apartment in Sodermalm, which is the island that Jägergatten is also on. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I then, over the summer, uh, my friend went back to the Netherlands, so I had to very urgently leave my apartment in Sodermalm. Um, so for that, I would recommend that everyone gets a really uh, if you do go on the private market, make sure you look at your notice period um, mm -hmm. and not just your notice period with your landlords, but also your notice period between subtenants um, and try and get a, like a month, a bare minimum, but try and get three months because that's uh, having three months is what really saved me. Um, and then, yeah, I ended up living in PAX as well. I lived in PAX for four months. <laughs> <laughs> I've moved five times in a year. Uh, it's been a lot. Um, but yeah, Claudia will be talking about PAX later on. But yeah, I moved a month ago and I now live in uh, a really nice private apartment and I live here with two of my friends. So, awesome. Can you show us around a little bit? Yeah, I can't show too much because I don't want to disturb my housemates too much. But I'll give you a little tour. Hello, everyone. You're not seeing the kitchen because I just cooked and it's messy. Um, <laughs> This is our really nice apartment. I'm going to show you the view because it's absolutely stunning. I live in Alvik, which is a little bit further away. But, um, oh my goodness. This is, really, oh, so beautiful. This is the balcony where I, where I eat my breakfast. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, uh, I live uh, in Alvik, which mm -hmm. is on the Green Line. So it's a little bit further outside the city center. It's not counted as, uh, my address doesn't say Stockholm, it says Bromna, which is like um, like a neighboring borough almost. But I look out at Kungsholmen, which is very uh, like, that's definitely city center. So I'm still, mm -hmm. It only takes me uh, 10 or 15 minutes to get to Central from here. And um, Fridhem's plan, which is another like quite busy area of the city, that's only five minutes away. Um, so I really like where I live. I love it here. I love being like a tiny bit further out into nature. It's yeah. really easy to go to hikes um, from where I live. Like we just walk out our door and there's nature. Um, and yeah, I love it here. It's super nice. I love the view too. I think that's like a recurring theme. Everybody has such nice views. It looks beautiful. Okay? Just because Stockholm is beautiful and it's so easy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, could you tell us a little bit about approximately how much you pay and how you found this place? Mm, yeah, sure. Um, I'm really, really lucky with where I live right now. It is, uh, it is a first-hand contract. You'll see these in Stockholm. They have first-hand contracts, which is when... Um, you don't own the apartment, but you're the first rental. It's it's all a little bit complicated. Honestly, I can't explain it myself that well. But first-hand contracts are very, very cheap. Um, but as a student, you're very unlikely to get one because you have to be in this like Stockholm queue. And people sign up when they're 18 and then wait like 10 years to get an yeah. apartment there. Yeah. We ended up being really lucky. I live here with a friend of mine and she inherited this uh she inherited this first-hand contract, and so we live here. I pay about six thousand in rent, so six hundred. But for um, there's three of us living here, um, and it's but it's a really big apartment. So uh, it's a ninety-five square meters or something like that. So six thousand for space in a ninety-five meter apartment. I think that's a very very good deal for this city. 
Um, if you go back and look at the live from last year, you'll see that I was paying 9,000 a month, which is definitely yeah. on the very much the upper yeah. end. But I think that that is a bit more of a reasonable estimate if you are looking at getting um, if you are looking at getting housing on the private market, 6,000 really is like very lucky, very specific to this situation. So I'd say like, go back and look at the other live and then 9,000 is a bit more realistic. Um, but yeah, I pay around 6,000. I got it because, uh, a friend of mine was living here and. So you just found out, found out about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, what the apartment I had last year was, um, uh, that was a bit more traditional in how we found it. Mm -hmm. There are these three websites, um, Block It, Casa, and Samtrick. Obviously, these are private websites, so they're not affiliated to Care Housing in any way, so please, please, please be careful if you're going on them mm -hmm. um, because uh, we did have one scam situation. Luckily, we didn't pay any money, but it was really crazy. Um, so, yeah, be, be really careful um, and try and ask everyone around you. You can even... Uh, not like go to your teachers, but try and ask Swedish, try and ask Swedish people if they think that something is reasonable or not. Obviously, don't pay any money without having seen an apartment. Um, so yeah, so I would say Block It, Casa, and Samtrig are the websites where people usually find housing on the private market. Awesome, thank you for this advice. I know, like the disclaimer about scammers out there, like that's really important. Um, um, that's why KI housing is so good. You're not. That, <laughs> What's your favorite thing about your apartment? Maybe the neighborhood? Um, uh, I love the view, obviously. The view is, is so special. Um, honestly, I love living with roommates. Like, um, I was living in PAX, and it was a really nice social situation because you were still sharing the kitchen. But um, I love having, like, a cozy area. And I think you also kind of get that in Jägergatten as well because they have the, uh, the common rooms. Um, but yeah, I knew that I didn't want to live in a in a studio, which was another option to me at the time. I could either move into a studio or I could move here. And I was like, oh no, I want to live with I want to live with my friends. Um, and yeah, I love having my own kitchen. I do a lot of cooking. You do, I do a lot of cooking. Yeah. <laughs> I do a lot of baking. So um I it's really important to me having my own kitchen. That's why I've often lived in private places. Um I'm lucky that I worked before I came here. So like Budget-wise, it was something that was feasible for me. Um, and yeah, then I'm like, my happy place is the kitchen. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put my money in that. But yeah. Wonderful. Um, could you tell us also a little bit about uh, your furniture and if you had to get a lot of things when you moved to that specific housing option that you have now? Yeah, so um, there wasn't much when I moved in. Um, my friend had already been living here for a year but she was living with two other people. And when they left, most of the furniture belonged to them. So they took a lot of it with them. Um, I ended up inheriting like a bed and a couple of chairs or something like that. Yeah. It was a bit weird. I think that's quite common though on the private market is if you'll usually end up getting some random stuff, but not everything. And the owner will usually be like, oh, I can I leave this? Like, can I leave that? That kind of stuff. Um, mm -hmm. And so, yeah, I got some random stuff. And then my roommate is amazing at finding things on Facebook and Facebook Marketplace that are cheaper. Um, and so we also got, we got a table, we got a sofa, we bought a rug. We found a, a place that was having a sale on rugs. So nice. we bought a rug. Um, all of our chairs are mismatched. Um, <laughs> Which is amazing. That's really true. It's yeah. a fashion. It's okay. It's interior. I know. <laughs> I got, uh, sorry, this is all switched up. I got this painting from a friend of mine because we wanted something on the wall. Um, so yeah, it was all a bit chaotic. It was all a lot of secondhand. It's all a lot of friends moving out. Um, but yeah, we like it. We're just trying to pick pieces that we think kind of go with the apartment. Of so, course, yeah. of course. Awesome. And then, like, how long do you see yourself living there? Mm. I love it here. I've only been living here for about two months, but mm -hmm. I, personally, I'm planning on staying in Stockholm once I've graduated. I would mm -hmm. like to find a job there if anyone would like to employ me to do things. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, I um, I would honestly be more than happy to live here for a year, two years, however long they let me stay. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I love it. I'm and like I think that's also one of the benefits of private housing. I'm not getting kicked out when I graduate. Of um, but yeah yeah 
All right, so that's what we have from us prepared. But then I think we also have some questions from our viewers. So let's see. Yeah. Yes, sure. Uh, sorry, I was the one answering questions in the group chat as well. If you look at uh, people, person, someone answering under KI Karolinska Institute student. Um, but yeah, uh, the uh, the websites, as someone else wrote, Block It, Casa, and the Sam Trick. I will go back and put links into this later. Yes, please. Those are really helpful, right? Because just specific to Stockholm. All right. Are there specific websites where Swedish students who go abroad put ads for short-term subletting six months or less of housing? I saw a lot of that on Block It. Um, mm -hmm. Samtrig is a bit more like professional. Professional. I, I don't know how to quite describe it, but Samtrig tend, was more people wanting to rent out their place for a year. Um, and the apartments tended to be a bit bigger, a bit more expensive. Block it tended to be the slightly like lower end of the spectrum and people would rent out for like a month, um, a month up to a year, something like that. But yeah. Yeah. All right. Anything else? I would. Oh, yeah. Housing options. I guess researchers. I think that there are KI housing options that are slightly more expensive or just, I, I will need to go back and check. There's like some that are on Solna campus that are a bit bigger, mm -hmm. but it's for families. Um, I think it tends to be the same, honestly. But um, yeah, there's also blogs on the, on the website about trying to get stuff on the private market. Um, or you can also email email all of the digital ambassadors myself included for more information about how we found in uh, how we found housing on the private things but there's no specific like postdoc house or something yeah the master students continue living in ssb housing after they graduate you can theoretically live in sssb for six months after you've graduated there's like a very specific way you have to do it because every six months they like check your student credentials mm -hmm. um, if you save that check until as late as possible and then don't get it checked once you've graduated then you can stay another six months this is like a, this is allowed within their system they're aware of it so mm -hmm. that you don't usually get kicked out on graduation mm -hmm. way that you can slightly extend your stay um but i i wouldn't i don't think it's something that you should you can't rely on it as in, you should be looking for a place once you've graduated. It yeah. is student housing, you should leave it to the students. <laughs> yes, that's really important to know. All right, anything else you'd like to tell us, Grace? Thank you so much. We love seeing your apartment, it's so beautiful. <laughs> Any other last minute tips or advice for people who are looking? A lot of people are asking about um, uh, it like getting told by KI housing really, really late. I also had that. I was also really, really scared. Mm -hmm. We obviously cannot give official figures on how likely you are to be accepted to something, mm -hmm. but take this with a pinch of salt. This is not us guaranteeing anything whatsoever. You are fairly likely to get accepted to KI housing, especially mm -hmm. if you have only put down Solna residence and a lot less likely because it's very, very popular. But if you're putting down options like Pax, Strix, Yegegata, and Fleming's Bay, then you do have a very, very fairly high chance of being accepted. This is not official figures. This is just our experience having listened to everyone. You, the, obviously there are going to be some people who do not get accepted, but there are now so many options available. There are physically so many rooms that are available to students. It, it must be like, at least a thousand at this point, I think, with all of the, the rooms added together. Um, and if it does turn out that you do not get accepted, there are so many short-term rentals on Block It that are available of people wanting to rent out their place immediately and to only rent it out for a month. Yeah. So you can also go look at Block It and you'll find so many places that are like, we want to rent out immediately. So don't worry, you're going to be okay. You will have housing when you get here. <laughs> I know, I think that's the most important takeaway message is that it'll be okay. Obviously it requires work and preparation and planning, but um, we all find somewhere to live. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much, Grace. So <laughs> nice chatting with you and seeing your home. Thank you for sharing that with us. Again, Bye. enjoy the sun. <laughs> will do. Bye. <laughs> Bye. All right, we're moving right along. Thank you to everybody who is tuning in and listening in. 
Next, we have Ricardo and Sarah, who are also digital ambassadors. And Ricardo can tell us a little bit about, about himself himself, but he's my partner for Instagram. Um, and they will talk a little bit about their soul in a shared apartment um, that um, they're, there's four of them sharing in. So let's see. Hello. <laughs> So, uh, hi everyone, uh, I'm Riccardo, I'm a first year student, the toxicology master, and I'm from Italy, and I live with Sarah. Hello, I'm Sarah, and I'm from Austria, and I am in the public health master's. Health Perfect, education. tell us a little bit more about yourself, what you studied before, what you like in Sweden. <laughs> so I also studied uh, toxicology in my bachelor. And yeah, I came here to, uh, to Stockholm to study again toxicology. <laughs> <laughs> it's very, very... <laughs> straightforward um, I like Stockholm because it's like super close to nature you like you have the chance to go to like the natural reserve where they're very close you get there with the like public transport and then also the city is very nice during all the seasons I would say um, during all the seasons I love, no. I love to hear this okay. <laughs> um, I studied um, nutritional science and sociology before because of what guys um and I really enjoy um, living in Stockholm because yeah, also the proximity to nature and I love that it's very walkable and you ride your bike around a lot and that's really nice, like a way to discover the city like that. Perfect, thank you guys. So could you tell us a little bit about where you live and maybe show us around a little bit? Of course. <laughs> yeah, so we live in a, a four bedroom apartment. So we share the, uh, like a, 80 square meters about flat with uh, other two students also from KI it's a, it's an apartment from KI housing and has uh, four private bedrooms and then we share the living room that's where we're sitting and the kitchen that you can see on the background Very and nice. then we have two bathrooms so we share the bathroom with a, a, another student inside the flat so we need to run a little bit so this ooh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay so these are the door or one of the doors so on one side we have all of the rooms mm -hmm. um and then sorry no, no, i'm showing okay this is our living area it's gorgeous <laughs> and then here we have our dining room table with a pin board and then here we have our kitchen and a very large refrigerator and freezer. Um, <laughs> They're doing amazing. Perfect. <laughs> Everything came, um, it was like fully stocked with like pots and pans and silverware, so we didn't have to buy anything. It has like a toaster, rice cooker. Um, coffee machine and water cooker, microwave. Um, so yeah, it's really nice and large and we can cook dinners together and yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Then we can go back to the living room. <laughs> it sounds like Sarah is a tour guide. <laughs> I mean, should we show you the bedrooms right away or? or if you'd like to, yes, please. Yeah. 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 Right. So, follow me. Um, So this is, so everyone has their own bedroom. This is mine. Um, so you have a bed. Um, it's, I think, 120 wide, if that's interesting. Then you have a desk and a pin board. And then you have a um, cabinet in your room for clothing. And also a nice view. Yeah, very nice view. It is a very nice view. Um, Yes, and then <laughs> there we go. So, Sarah, thank you so much. And then we also have a make sure the bathroom if you don't want to see. So I share this with um, one of my roommates. So have a shower, and toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's important. We have to know. Thank you. <clears throat> Ricardo, so I know that you invested a lot of time in uh, cleaning up the room. Yeah, we invested. Sorry, invested. I did. 
All right. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. This was beautiful. <laughs> Again, I know that everybody cleaned up. Thank you. Um, so I guess we should start by asking you, is it a new building or an old building? It's it's easy to tell, but can we hear a little bit about it? <laughs> yeah, it's a new building that opened uh, this August, last August. So we were the, the first one in this in this apartment. And it's it's really close to campus. And so it's very it's a very nice location, I would say. Yeah. Yeah. So then the standard questions, could you tell us a little bit about approximately how much you pay for this and how you found it? Yeah, so we pay, um, I think, just under 6,000 crowns a month. Um, and that includes the utilities, so you don't need to pay anything for, like, water in addition or Wi-Fi. And um, then, um, yeah, we applied for, or it, through KI Housing, like, pretty shortly after getting accepted, but once the housing portal opened. Um, and yeah, I rank this option first because I like the option of like living with a small, small group of people. I didn't really want to live in a corridor room or like on my own because I thought it would be nice to like have some more interaction and yeah, find friends. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, there are several options in uh, like in Solna, in the ice in Solna. You can have like four bedroom, the two bedroom, and then a private uh, apartment. So like, we thought we both thought that the like sharing an apartment with other students would have been helpful, like to like start a friendship and have like some like other people to, sp to spend time with during yeah. the year. I agree. How long have you guys been living there? Since August. Since August. Yeah. Yes. Both of you. Perfect. All right. So I know Ricardo talked a little bit about the location, that it's very close to campus. Anything else you'd like to mention about where it's located, what you like about the location here, and maybe a little bit about the transportation, not only to the KI campus, but maybe to the city center? Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, like to, to, to campus, it's really, like, it's really close. It's probably two minutes walking. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's on the on campus. And like from the city center, I think 10 minutes by bus. Yeah. And the same more or less by, by bike. So it's very close, both to the city center and for sure super close to lecture. So it, it's probably the closest. It, it is the closest yeah, yeah. to, to, to yeah. the campus and of, the, of the KI housing um, residences. Yeah, and there's also like um, grocery stores and like post office close by, so that's practical. Um, and I, I think for me, I, I kind of like living a little bit outside the like direct city center because then when I go there, it's, it feels more special and yeah, yeah I appreciate more. So. I agree. And we definitely have to, once again, emphasize the fact that it's, I don't know, seven, eight minutes to campus. So mm -hmm. getting up as late as you can, getting all your sleep in and scheduling very little time for commuting definitely yeah. is a great privilege, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel especially in the winter when it gets cold and icy and you don't want to. Which Ricardo long. loves because he loves all of the seasons. <laughs> yeah, and it's also close like to, to the gym that is on campus for the for the one going to the gym. And then there are tennis courts that are directly uh, here, like 20 meters from, from the residence. Yeah. So yeah. It's, it's, it's super nice. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Could you tell us a little bit about what you found when you came to the apartment and what you needed to bring in order to live comfortably? Um, yeah, so everything was furnished. So we didn't, like we had desks and tables and couch and all that. Um, even like um, like blankets for the bed. So we just need like extra um, sheets. Yeah. <laughs> or, yeah, yeah, so your own bedding. Um, yeah, and then we just mostly got like things to decorate it. Um, we haven't bought too much for the kitchen either, I think. No, no, yeah, it was yeah. like most of the of the things were already in the apartment. Yeah. Most of the like furniture was already in the apartment. Yeah. And then we bought some things to decorate yeah. and that's it. Yeah. So I think although the rent is a bit more exp like yeah, is a bit mm -hmm. more expensive than some of the other places further away, I think we did save quite a bit of money by not having to buy any furniture, like a bunch of plates or things like that. So that mm -hmm. was helpful. Yeah, good. Yeah. Thank you. Um, what's your favorite thing about living here? there <laughs> that is, uh, so <laughs> my favorite thing is that it's close to campus and mm -hmm. it's and also that a lot of students from my course live here so we can actually get to meet also after after lectures or during the weekend we're 
like essentially living on, in the same building. So it's very easy to meet and like organize activities other than going to lectures, of course. Yeah. Yeah, I think for myself, similar, just yeah, being so close, like it's really easy to hang out with friends after lectures or study together. Um, and then I think because it's like the, yeah, the, the shared apartment, like you can have your own like private alone time in your room, like when you just need some space for yourself. But then if you want to like be with people, maybe in a smaller setting, you can have friends over here, we can cook together. So it feels this nice transition from being really social with a lot of people to then SMS. <laughs> Sorry, that's not good. <laughs> yeah. No, awesome, thank you. Are there any challenges surrounding, you know, this idea of living with roommates, especially people that you don't really know before you actually move in and meet them, right? Yeah, I think you always need to like adapt a bit mm -hmm. to the like uh, to the others because you're living with other people that you, that you you met for the first time like a few months ago. But I think it's at least for us it's going well. Yeah, like we all get along mm -hmm. very well and we do things together also during weekends. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe just an important thing to know is that you can't choose who you live with. Like mm -hmm. we had no idea who we were until. We saw each other when we moved in so that is just something to keep in mind but yeah i think yeah it's just really important to communicate and like if something isn't working just let the other person know um but yeah so far we've been really lucky and it's worked well. yeah awesome could you tell us a little bit more about maybe the common facilities that are available to you in your specific building also mm -hmm. where do you do like your laundry and how does that work <laughs> so uh there's uh, one laundry that is, is in common to the old three buildings that are in the uh, sauna residence. And it's um, about 20 washing machines, so it's very large. Yeah. And also a uh, dryer. So uh, you can book the, um, like your, your, your slot in the laundry room, and then you have that slot for two hours. And actually, at the moment, it's not uh, paid. Yeah, we don't need to pay. We didn't need to pay for the laundry. And um, also the like uh, soap is included mm. because it's uh, it's automatic, so you don't have to buy soap. And yeah, I think it's 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 uh, really easy to use the laundry room. You only need to like book or drop in your clothes and, and yeah, good yeah. To go. Yeah, and then otherwise, like downstairs, so it's basically just this whole building is mm -hmm. um, just shared apartments, either with two people or four people. And then the ground floor, um, we have um, a ping pong table and then some like larger TVs for people to like watch like, football together or have board game nights. Yep. Awesome. And how, how long do you guys see yourself living there? <laughs> Unfortunately, only until the summer yeah. because we're going to live for one year. Um, so yeah. That's what they do to you, right? They make you become friends and then... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can actually live in like in the KI or housing only for one year for the first year, and then uh, like you're supposed to look in the meantime for, for another accommodation for the second year. Yes. All right. So that was all that we have prep, but I'm sure that we have some of the questions coming from our viewers. All right, what is the best approach for EU students regarding the first accommodation in August when we first have to move to Stockholm since KI housing is not guaranteed? So this is your opinion, your approach. So I would say that even if it's not guaranteed, for sure you, uh, I'd suggest you to apply to KI housing because it has many uh, like spots available in general. Mm -hmm. uh, so the chance of getting an apartment is like... I wouldn't say it's for sure you, you will get an apartment, but it's quite high. At least uh, it was for us. Yeah, we're, we're both EU students. Yeah, we're so, both yeah. EU students. And then in the meantime, of course, uh, continue looking for other other options on, on other websites uh, like Blocker or Casa and other platforms. Since mm -hmm. also uh, maybe for the first year, SSP is, is a bit difficult because mm -hmm. you don't have enough points. But other options are like private accommodation are for sure an option. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I know everybody has shared a little bit about their experience, but how long did you guys have to wait until you found out if you got KI housing 
or that you got gay housing you know? probably a mom yeah maybe like a month six weeks or so yeah but, because you um, applied early right yeah, yeah. I, I applied it like as soon as it was possible yeah same, yeah. same for me yeah i also applied like, immediately mm -hmm. after i got accepted here yeah, yeah. All right, so that was what we had from the chat and the comment section. Anything else you guys would like to say about the place that you live in? Any tips that you would give to people who are about to move in the similar situations that you live in? Anything? Um, I mean, I think like if you're kind of, I guess, hesitant about living with strangers, maybe don't you don't need to be like it's going to be like really really amazing um, and. I feel you like get to know people in a really yeah. special way. So yeah, I can definitely recommend it. Yeah, same for me. It's like it's also a way to spend to have like someone to spend time with during like winter when you don't have like many activities mm -hmm. outside. So it's it's a nice it's a nice thing. Yeah. Nice and cozy, right? Yeah. And cozy. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I agree. <laughs> Um, well, thank you so much, guys. You did so well. The tour was amazing. I know that you prepped a lot for this. <laughs> um, thank you so, so much. I I wish you a beautiful day, also full of sunshine. I hope you get to get outside and spend some time outdoors. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 All right. So next we have Blanca. She's a classmate of mine as well. And she's living in the Solness studio with a shared kitchen. And that's exactly what my living situation is as well. So Blanca, come to us. Hello. Hi, mm -hmm. hi Blanca. How are you? Hello. Good, hi. good. To see you. Enjoying the sun. Well, hopefully enjoying the sun later on. <laughs> Very soon after this, right? I can see it, but I cannot feel it yet. <laughs> All right, so could you tell us a little bit about yourself first? Yeah, sure. So I'm Blanca. I'm from Barcelona, Spain. Um, and yeah, I'm doing my master's degree in public health sciences, the track of epidemiology here at KI. And I've been living here in uh, Solna in my studio for like nine months now, since August. Yeah. Oh so God, yeah. yeah. Um, tell us a little bit more about what you studied before and yeah. how are you liking it here? Yeah, so I studied uh, biomedical sciences back in Barcelona. Uh, that's like my bachelor, but I also uh, did other related stuff uh, when it comes to like global public health and working in different NGOs uh, in different topics. So, so yeah. Um, and yeah, like uh, living here has been really, really nice. I think that the, my previous colleagues and friends have already shared that, but I think it's been a great experience also because it's like, when you move to another place that you don't know, it's sometimes a bit difficult to like, you know, get to know your surrounding, uh, the city. Also, I don't know, I don't speak Swedish yet. So <laughs> it's also a bit difficult, right? So if you go to a residence that, I don't know, you know, people that are living there um, with you as well, I don't know, it's easier and, and it's also very welcoming uh, during the first months. So I really, really, really appreciated that. Uh, for sure. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Perfect. Thank you so much. So if you if you can, could you show us around a little bit about uh, uh, around your place and also tell yeah. us what it is and again, sort of the setup. So, yeah, I live in a, stu in a studio in Resident Solna. Uh, so I have, uh, well, not a studio. It's like a, like a, my corridor room um, and then I share the kitchen. Uh, with the people from my floor. So I have my own room with my own bathroom and then I share the kitchen. Um, so yeah, welcome to my place. <laughs> welcome <laughs> to my crib. <laughs> yeah, so uh, this is the main room, let's say. Uh, let's see. So here you have like the bed and a small like table just for you to like, I don't know, I have the water, my ebook and this kind of stuff. Uh, and then here you have the a small window that goes into your uh, walk-in closet. Mm -hmm. um, you can see a bit, like, let's see. Mm -hmm. But yeah, like, oh, well, I'll show you. But yeah, uh, it's really nice as well. And here you have a shelf as well where you can just put your stuff. I brought some decoration from home. I also uh, bought some stuff here in museums and like, I don't know, things that you, uh, that you do. 
here i don't know just because of the sun perhaps you cannot well, see, we can see it it's so beautiful your little yeah thing. i as you can see i like plants uh yeah. this yellow thingy it's a traditional thing for uh, easter so yeah i bought it this last week uh and here you can see that yeah it's a window and you have like some pillows and like also blanket and you can just like stay here i usually read here at night or like i do some work as well when i want to see like yeah a bit of uh, the exterior, like whatever is going on. Um, and yeah, here I also have a small table where I have like random stuff, like notes from other courses, uh, my knitting stuff as well. Yeah. Uh, random stuff. Um, yeah. Uh, one of the posters of my favorite, um, museum. And here you have the cork with like all random things uh as well it's like, so much fun i love how you keep yeah all that. You so know, like many it. pictures with like yeah friends etc cetera, etc cetera. Mm -hmm. and this is like my desk uh that i actually bought in ikea because i mm -hmm. really didn't really needed a bit more of space to work um but yeah like also like very cheap uh so mm -hmm. whenever like you need something to buy i recommend ikea <laughs> and yeah as i said i love plants so here we have a huge plant I didn't even know you had that. That's amazing. Yeah, it was a it was actually a gift from a friend. So I really, really liked it. Yeah. yeah. And then here we have a small closet as well, where you can see like now you'll see like food that I have mm -hmm. over here. And then you also have a small fridge with like with a little freezer too, right? Yeah. So like in the shared kitchen, you have also like a big uh, two fridges actually um mm. but usually people leave their own stuff in the in the fridge that you have here and mm. then you can also like leave things in the fridge in the common fridge but yeah it's fine uh and yeah here i have like random things as well like i don't know chewing gums my my plugs etc etc then also something here as well to like hang all my coats and then you also have a closet here for like more stuff and then the bathroom, which is actually the same bathroom as um, Sarah and uh, Ricardo showed you. It's literally the same one. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, it's really nice, actually, to have your own bathroom. I don't know what Sarah and Ricardo like. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I really like it. Um, and, yeah, so I'm, like, nice paintings. Beautiful. And I yeah, love all of your decorations. I'll show you a bit of my close it but it's like let's say that it's not better <laughs> uh you can see like the window now here and then here you see like yeah random so there's quite a bit of space in there right? yeah but there's a lot of it's like a walking closet so you can actually uh yeah you have quite a lot of space to like leave everything there and i even have friends that have like another closet like inside just for them to like put like i don't know socks or like underwear or anything like that so you actually have a quite a lot of space there and yeah that's basically it perfect thank you so so much that's so helpful and also you have decorated it so nicely it's so cozy in there so a little bit about the kitchen so once again this is a studio with a shared kitchen so you have your own bathroom your own shower and you do have this little it's not a kitchen area but the little area where you have your yeah. fridge and the freezer it's like an auxiliary right like mm -hmm. a area yeah. where you can actually have your food and you have like a small fridge as well where you can yeah. have everything there. Uh, so yeah. Yes, and you can have like a little nice breakfast if you're like rushing through the door and yeah. don't want to cook. Yeah, exactly, lot. exactly. Yeah, so. And then, yeah. And then could you tell us a little bit about the shared, the big shared kitchen? So you've mentioned that there's a big mm -hmm. fridge there. What else is in there? So basically uh, we have a kitchen per floor. Um, mm -hmm. So every floor has its kitchen. Um, it's actually very big and there are like two like main kitchens. So it's like, yeah, I'd say that it's quite, uh, it's really nice. And you usually don't like, yeah, I don't know how many people do we have per floor? We have like around 20 or so, yeah, but like less than that. Or yeah. Less. Or no, yeah, less perhaps. Mm -hmm. But uh, there, as I said, like there are like two kitchens, let's say um with absolutely everything you have pans you have everything there uh with microwaves as well you have the oven as well as i said as well you have um uh two fridges um so you can also leave stuff there um and you also have like glasses you have everything there 
Um, so, so yeah, it's really nice. And as I said, it's like quite big. Um, so there's, I, I wouldn't say that, yeah, I think that during this last nine months, we have never had like a situation in which like it was like too busy, you know? Um, and yeah, it's also a really nice place to socialize. And I don't know, perhaps like friends that are all living in the same building, we're like, oh yeah, let's cook in the second floor. And then we all go there and we cook together, you know? Um, and it's really nice. So so yeah, like the kitchen is, as I was saying, it's quite big and you have everything there that you need. So, so yeah, really, really nice. Awesome. So then you do live in building 13. Um, and that's sort of the main building where also the KI housing office is. And mm -hmm. could you tell us a little bit more what else do we have in this building um, that you're at? So basically in this building, you have basically like all the services that KA housing uh, provides uh, within the residence. So um, you have the laundry room uh, within the, the building 13. You also have, as you were saying, the KI office, which is open, I think, two or three days per week, if I'm not wrong. Uh, then you also have your mailboxes. Everyone has uh, mailboxes there as well in the ground floor. Uh, what else? Then we have the spot, which is like a very big share kitchen. And we also have like big events there. I don't know. We organized uh, Thanksgiving there. We organized sometimes as well, like birthday parties, etc. Cetera, et cetera. And it's also like a common place for all the buildings to come and to like socialize and have fun together. So, yeah. And then there's also like a, like a common like shared space as well with like sofas and couches. So it's really nice as well to like stay there and like chat with friends. And uh, we also have a ping pong table um, and yeah. So yeah, I'd say that that's mainly it. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice building because you have everything there, you know? <laughs> Amazing. Perfect. What's your favorite thing about living here? In residence hall now? Mm -hmm. I think that the main thing um, when I chose uh, to live in Solna or like within the, the KI housing website, right? Was the fact that it's super close to the campus. It's like literally like two minutes away by foot. So it, it was really, really nice. And like, as I was saying, the first year, perhaps like you might feel like a bit more lost. It's mm -hmm. interesting, like within the city uh, and everything. So it was really nice for me to like be close to the campus and like be able to like get a bit more like familiarized with with the campus, the university, the institute and everything. Um, and apart from that, I really like it because I have a lot of friends here or like it's a residence that gets you to socialize very much and it helps a lot to socialize very much uh, just because as I was saying, there are a lot of like shared spaces. There's also this big shared kitchen where everyone like can have, you know, like small gatherings. So it's really nice to like get to know people and like I feel that I always get to know new people, you know, every week. So, so yeah, it's definitely very, very nice to like be here and be surrounded as well with friends. Because uh, as I was saying, like I have friends as well here from my masters, such as you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah, it's a really nice place to like have your own place, like your own home, let's say, be close to the campus, but at the same time have good social life. I'd say I agree with everything you've said. Um, Blanca, can you tell us a little bit about approximately how much you pay? So it's basically um, 6,000 kronas, which is uh, like in my currency euros, it's like 600 euros. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, uh, I think that it increased a bit because of like Swedish taxes or something like this during the, like before Christmas. Uh, but yeah, like not that much. Um, so yeah, it's basically around 6,000 uh, kronas, Swedish kronas. And that includes, what does it include? And that includes absolutely everything, actually, because um, the electricity and water is included. And then as Ricardo and Sarah were saying before, we also have the laundry room downstairs and it's also for free. Uh, so, yeah, like you don't actually need to pay for anything else. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I mean, you might need to like pay for the transport and things like that, but that's like your own, you know, yeah. uh, your own thing. But when it comes to housing, it's only that. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right. Give me one second. And how long do you plan to stay here? So the same as Sarah and Ricardo, um, K housing only allows to live in one of their residences for a year. 
So I think that like now as all my friends, like we are all trying to search for new places for the upcoming course. Uh, so yeah, I can stay here until the end of August more or less because I mm -hmm. arrived as well the end of August of last year. Um, but I most likely I'll be like moving before that to yeah. another place. Mm -hmm. All right, perfect. So before we launch into, I think we have a couple of questions in the chat. Um, just to mention once again that um, Blanca did purchase the uh, table, not the table, the desk for her study separately. There is a little table sort of for breakfast and maybe like for a friend or two to sit around it, but the desk, um, it's not included in that. Yeah, no, the desk was, uh, yeah. Something that so you like, needed. Yes, yeah, exactly. Just because I needed a bit more space to like study in Citra, so I prefer to buy that apart. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's see what question we have. Um, is it also the case for EU students who have applied in the second application round for the global bachelor's program? Thanks in advance. I'd say no, just because it like the fact of like being able to stay here for a year or like to any uh, KI housing residence for a year is like an internal rule mm -hmm. if I'm not wrong. I think that there are like some prioritizations when it comes to like your status if you are like fee paying student or EU paying student or even if you're like internship student mm -hmm. or PhD student but um, I'd say that the fact of like being able to stay here it's, it's just like something that it's for for I don't know if for everyone but it's like for at least for global bachelor programs and for global master's programs as well yeah yeah I think that's perfect it's like the year sort of sort of almost a universal thing but then definitely check all of the different rules on the website and I'm sure that the website has been posted in the chat probably multiple times you can also roll it up here with the banner um but definitely check all the different rules um yeah regarding that unfortunately one year only in, in gay housing that's at least yeah. the maximum in most of the cases which i feel like we all would love to just stay <laughs> right um all right blanca anything else you want to tell us a little bit like uh, regarding your room or your living situation anything else that would be helpful for people who are coming to know i'd say that i was like very worried in the very beginning of like choosing right you know like yes, yes. yeah like choosing the right residence mm -hmm. and like I'm super happy and like I think that I made the right decision of like staying here and choosing um this uh residence but uh we know as well like a lot of people that are living in other other residences uh from KA housing and they are very happy as well so like I'd say everything's fine and you'll, <laughs> you'll find yeah you'll find your people you'll find like your place you'll make home wherever it is and you'll see that um people are very welcoming as well and that you'll get to socialize to make friends wherever it is so i'd say that of course like check all the different options share the uh, check the ones that you prefer the most but uh don't worry too much about it let's say just because, yeah, in the end, like, you'll make friends, uh, you'll get to know, like, a lot of people, you'll have your group of friends, you know, like, yeah, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Because that, for instance, that was something that I was very worried when I moved yeah. here, like, oh, will I make friends? Or like, will these residents, you know, allow yeah. me to have good mm -hmm. social life? And in the end, all of them do provide that. So, yeah. I like that. I like the way that you worded this. Is that I agree? I feel like most of the people that we've talked to really like there are obviously benefits and drawbacks in every li living situation, and you make it work for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think we have one more question for you, Blanca. Super. Do we have to apply just either to Solna, Flemingsbury, Yaga Garden, etc., or can we apply to multiple locations in KA housing to uh -huh. be guaranteed housing? Yeah, you can apply to multiple, actually. And I say that you even have the option of prioritizing, making like a priority list. Mm -hmm. uh, so like which is like your first priority, second, you know, like the preferences that you have. Um, so, yeah, you can definitely do that. So like you can apply to multiple, uh, check and rank your options according to your preferences. And yeah, let's yeah. see. But, uh, and I think we, we would say, right, like 
probably that's a good idea to add more options and then yeah yeah, definitely. Get, yeah think about like what what may suit you what kind of person you are like your budget and all of the different things and then yeah. apply mm -hmm. as many as you can because if you get your first choice that's what you get yeah, exactly mm -hmm. Well, Blanca, well, thank you so much. I'm so happy to chat with you today. Your room looks amazing, so nicely decorated. Um, I hope you enjoy some sun. <laughs> yes, I will go out now. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right. I believe we have two more students who are going to be sharing their rooms with us. The next one is Meg, and she lives in the Solna Residence Studio with a private kitchen. So do we have Meg over here? Hi. Hi, Meg. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. Um, I'm Meg, and I study in public health science as well. So um, um, Gada is my classmate, and um, I'm from Taiwan. Mm -hmm. um, what else should I say? Hmm. What did you study back uh, in your bachelor's degree? Um, I also study public health as well, mm -hmm. and um, that was in my hometown, Taiwan. And um, before, um, after that, I also worked a bit, like around two years since um, pandemic postpone um, postponed my schedule a bit. <laughs> I'm the people. <laughs> campus. Awesome. Thank you, Meg. So can you tell us a little bit about where you live, what your setup is, and then once you're done, maybe you can show us around a little bit more too. Yeah, sure. Um, I live in studio apartment and um, I have my own private kitchen and I can mm -hmm. um, so here. Um I Beautiful. Can, um, um so um, as very similar as Blanca, we have the tiny, tiny fridge, and then also have the um, room for so storage, everything. And I think the most special thing is um, we have the like children lock. I don't know if you can see this. This one important, right? Yeah, you can protect like if you have. Um, kids living with you here and also um the i think the display is literally is, um same as um, ricardo sarah mm -hmm. and um blanca's like that was my bathroom perfect okay and um i will show you more a bit like my walking closet since Blanca. This is organized. <laughs> it's blank. I didn't show you, but I cleaned a bit. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Meg. It looks beautiful. Yeah. And I also hide the desk they gave us here. I see. I need more space for a study as well. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. That was my room my study area and that perfect windows with very nice view you can see outside and then we are um in the front so you can literally see like everyone come in and then you won't be um blocked by other buildings wonderful perfect all right thank you so much for showing us around so um because you have your own desk again let's just make it very clear that the desk didn't come right you had to purchase that yourself yeah um i got this from other taiwanese um since they're going to move out and um, to somewhere and then um they sold me like 300 kronas so that was very cheap and then i also um got something like quite fancy. I have the side tables and then the one for you can use your laptop on the bed, that kind of stuff that I bought it by myself. Also in the secondhand stores, that was a um, Facebook group that I have 
but that was the one just for Taiwanese. So I'm sorry if you are, if you are not. <laughs> <laughs> that's specific to your situation. That's totally okay. Yeah. Wonderful. All right. So tell us what you like the most about living in your particular situation that you have. Um, so I'm glad that I choose the um, studio apartment since I do want to have my own spaces and then, you know, mm -hmm. like no one will like come here, go here um, easily. And then once I want to hang out, I just go to another building that was very easy. And then also um, there is a ground floor common kitchen that we can use. Since um, in our kitchen, we don't have oven and we don't have um, like blender and like kitchen skills, that kind of thing, things. Mm -hmm. And then the most important things I would say, we don't have dishwashers. So, so you have to <laughs> wash all of them by your hands. That was yeah, I, I think that's important to say. So in the studio with the kitchen, you don't have a dishwasher. But then if you live in building 13, where you live in a studio with a shared kitchen, there are dishwashers there to do the dishes. Yeah. So that was the only thing I would say a bit bothered me. <laughs> yeah. All right. I know, right? Like, we're all busy when to get it done as soon as we can. Totally. Yeah. Um, could you tell us a little bit about how much you pay for it? Okay, so I paid around 8,000 kronas. Mm -hmm. I think that was the um, most expensive housing in KI housing. So um, we have to... And then also have something you need to buy by, by yourself, like dish cleanser and then or mm -hmm. you know, some cleaning stuff for like cleaning toilets, everything's like that. So you will spend a bit more. Yes, that's important to take into account when thinking about this. All right, perfect. Um, so you've mentioned a little bit about how, so was that the most important reason that you wanted a little bit more privacy and that's why you ranked this first, yeah. right? And do you find that you use the kitchen a lot now that you have it uh, in your room directly? Yeah, um, so basically I just like, whenever I need to um, make some food, I would just like, can come here like very easily. And then I don't have to worry about if those smell will bother something, someone else since mm -hmm. I know um, in um, Europe, there have a lot of people now are vegan, vegetarian. So, <laughs> oh, uh, yes. <laughs> If you sometimes you want to cook, cook some uh, meat and then you won't have to worry about that since that was just your own places. Wonderful. Anything else that you think that people who are considering living in the same situation as you are that they should know? Um, I would say, um, I think they all mentioned before that like, you don't have to buy um, extra um, furniture since mm -hmm. um, they already have in resident zona. That was very nice. And um, I also think, um, what else? Um, I guess the question, right? It's like you have a lot of privacy. Does it ever feel like it's difficult to meet other students or that you feel like you're you're a little bit isolated? Do you ever get those feelings at all? Well, I would say not at all since, you know, like building 13 and 15, just like one minute far away from me. So yeah. just show up and then people usually will have some um, party um on Friday or weekends, so yeah. you can just like jump into it very easily. So um, when you want to be socialized, you just can. And then if you don't, you still have your own spaces and then compared to um, Building 13, um, I would say the common area is more quiet. 
Mm -hmm. That was uh, right. if you are easily to been bothered by noise, that was the best option, I would say. Yeah, that's important to know. So building 13 is sort of like Blanca talked about, like it has all of the main facilities like laundry or the big shared kitchen or the KI housing office, the ping pong table. And it is more social. I think people are there a lot. So I think that's a very good point to consider. Right. Yeah. Um, so you have your room very nicely decorated with plants um, and other little um, decorations. Could you tell us a little bit about where you got everything from? Um, and if you spent a lot of money or if you were able to find it in maybe secondhand stores? Um, I would say like some flowers and plants. Um, some of them are um, given by my friends. And then some of them I just bought it from um, the grocery stores like Willis or Hem Shop. They also sell some cute plants and then you can just get it very easily and then the, those stores like super close to us like um i'm not sure but maybe walking by food maybe approximately 10 minutes i would mm -hmm. say but since um you know like other people's have a faster pace <laughs> than me so. that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. and also um for the first week I've been here, we um, rent a car to Ikea and get something that uh, we think we might need this. So that was another option. If you want to get things from Ikea, you can do that or just order it online. Awesome. That's really helpful to know. Thank you, Meg. I think we have quite a few questions for you in the chat. Is it possible to live in Solna resident with a kid? Um, I do saw some um, people, they bring their family here, but I will say um, since the si room size is just literally same as the um, studio, so you won't have that much space if you are uh, with your partners or with kids. I think that would maybe a bit not very comfortable but um yeah some, someone just do do that and mm -hmm. but i'm not sure if now is still allowed to do that since i just checked the website they say not allowed for family to apply mm -hmm. so. right so i think this is an important point to mention is that we really really ask that everybody who has those specific situations look um onto the KI housing website. And then if they have any specific questions, they should email. And I think the email address is up in the banner, right? Info at kihousing.se to really make sure that you understand all of the rules and know like where would be best for you to live if you have a child, right? Exactly. Um, but also I'm told that we should refer people to uh, Bobby's video on YouTube. He talks a little bit more about it. He's also a digital ambassador. He just spoke before if you just joined. Um, and then some people think that maybe the Flemisberry would be a more optimal option. But again, check the KI housing website and definitely reach out to the, them directly if you have any specific questions. Usually they respond like very fast within like a few hours. So you don't have to worry about that if you have any questions. Perfect. Meg, um, can a couple without kids live in the studio with own bathroom and kitchen? Um, yeah, um, I think that was very common in building 11. So you definitely can do that. And I would say our bed the size is a bit bigger um, than others. I think is like 20 centimeters wider than um, the room in studio and uh, share apartment which is suitable for two people yeah but yeah. i won't say that was like um very suit for two people since just a bit larger <laughs> <laughs> double size yeah 
Yes. Okay. Again, also, I know that the KI housing website actually has the floor plans listed there. And maybe doesn't have, have some pictures and videos as well. Maybe not as good as what Meg just showed you, but they also have floor plans. Also the plan of the bed. And it tells you actually the exact centimeters of how big the uh, bed is. So that's definitely something to consider and look at if you're considering this and especially if you're actually purchasing um, bedding and all of that. Meg, thank you so, so much. I'm so happy to see you and so happy that you showed your room. It's beautiful. Thank um, you. Guys. Enjoy your Friday in the sun. Yeah, I will. Thank you. Bye. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys. So we actually, I believe we have one more person. It's Claudia and she's going to talk a little bit about uh, PAX. That's the residence where she lives. So uh, Claudia, you're next. Hey Gerda, nice to see you. So good. How to are see you? you? I'm good. I just saw you a couple of hours ago. Yeah. Um, so well, I'm Claudia. I'm first year masters in biomedicine. Um, I well, I'm from Barcelona, Spain, and I used to study the bachelor's in biochemistry. And just when I finished, uh, I moved here. Uh, and yeah, so right now, um, two weeks ago, I moved to Pax. I was before living in Resident Solna, but as some colleagues said before. I had to, um, well, I, I mean, the contract is just one year, so I wanted to move as soon as possible don't, so I don't need to rush when it's close to my to my contract termination. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, should I show my room? or? Yes, please. Yeah, so you live in Pax. <laughs> sure. love to see it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, well, basically, I moved not so while ago, so I still have to arrange some stuff. <laughs> but, yeah, um, so this is basically a 18-square-meter room, including the bathroom. Um, I, well, rooms come unfurnished, so I had to basically furnish everything. Um, it can be a little bit overwhelming, but I would recommend you to look through Facebook Marketplace and also IKEA. Um, there's a lot of stuff. And, well, also, Pags, has, Pags and Streets have Facebook groups, so you can keep an eye on those. And as there's also, as, as there's always people moving in and out, um, you can find really nice stuff and also even for free. So, yeah, I can show you. Um, here I have a 120 bed which um, I got for free and then I just had to pay the delivery. Then like all the um, pillows from Ikea. I also got that table from Ikea. Well, when I was living in Sona, I already got it. And then those shelves were already included and I decorated with some stuff um, that, well, some stuff I brought from home, some stuff I brought here, also some plants. And then I got this shelf for free, which I found it here. It was kind of a really good deal. Yeah. And yeah, I feel like I need to organize it a little bit. But um, yeah, I have some kitchen stuff and then some food. And here I also got this, I don't know, coffee table, which is kind of fantastic. <laughs> I try my, um, I still need to organize. Um, then here I have this desk, which I also got secondhand. And here, mm -hmm. well, I don't know if you can see the views, but while well, I'm in the yeah, floor, so it's really, really nice. And yeah, I have a lot of sun coming in, which is always nice in Sweden. Um, yeah. So yeah, here there's also this wardrobe, which uh, was already included. And it's kind of big, actually. Well, I can show you a little bit. So I don't know, there's here. And here also like a lot of, I don't know, like apartments, which is great. And uh, well, I have kind of a lot of clothes, so it was amazing to have it. Um, and then here in the entrance, there's um, like, well, also for, for hanging out the coats, hats, scarves, yeah. And here there's the bathroom. Uh, yeah, it's basically an individual bathroom. Um, and yeah, well, I mean, it has the basics, the curtains, well, here, toilet, I bought a... Mm -hmm. Um, carpet and uh, yeah, rock and yeah. I mean, that would be pretty much all. Should I show the kitchen as well, or if you think that the internet connection would would be okay, but also we can just talk yeah. about it. Yeah, uh, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. It's mm -hmm. beautiful, yeah. Claudia. I, I know you've only lived there for a very little amount of time, but yes. you organized it and decorated so nicely. Yeah, I'm still need to improve it, but yeah, I, 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 the basics is there. <laughs> All right, so that's all you have in your room. So then tell us about the kitchen and what else there is in Pax that, you know, people should know about. Yeah, so basically I'm living in a, so, well, in Pax there are five, build, uh, sorry, three buildings. One and three are corridor rooms. And each corridor has a kitchen shared with some people, but normally it's always less because some people are on vacation or like their rooms empty. 
Um, and I don't know, I mean, my kitchen is pretty clean, which sometimes, I don't know, in a corridor room, you're always scared that maybe the kitchen won't be as clean. Or, but here, it's actually really nice. Um, so, yeah, and all my corridor is international people, not only from KI, but also from um, KTH and uh, SU. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, because, well, basically, I apply through SSSB, which is like the Stockholm Students Post there. I don't know if I pronounce it correctly. Better than um, I do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's basically this network of residences in which uh, you accumulate points and then you can apply for rooms. And yeah, I started accumulating points uh, when, like, before I even started the master's and then, yeah, I, I got a room now in April for until I finish my master's yeah perfect wonderful and what a great yeah. way to like meet people who study different subjects at different universities yeah right? They're still students. yeah it's really nice exactly um yeah I would say in like Solna, everyone is from Ke which is actually really cool as well because I don't know you meet all the people of the masters but here also yeah you can meet other people and have yeah more experiences I don't know <laughs> very nice all right. So you've talked a little bit where you found your place and how you did that. Mm -hmm. Could you tell us uh, how much approximately it costs for you? Yeah. Um, so I pay approximately like 3,400 coronas, which is a really affordable price. Right? This really includes, for yes, uh, it includes electricity, water, uh, Wi-Fi. And then also, which is really good, uh, June and July are for free so you don't need to pay the rent so i don't know i mean in my case maybe i will be traveling back to spain it's nice because i can keep the room for the next year and i don't need to pay for those months and still if you are here it's i don't know a good way to save money mm -hmm. wonderful i agree perfect so because we've just talked a lot about solna residences the three buildings mm -hmm. that are right next to the campus in solna um could you tell us a little bit about where pax is located um, and what you like about the area and maybe also about the transportation <laughs> options around there. Okay, it also is. We're losing you a little bit. That's fine. Can you say that just one more time? Hello, is it fine or? I think it is, yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. Um, okay. um well i'll continue is it fine? we're losing you just a tiny bit not sure maybe mm. try to mute and unmute <laughs> just a little bit choppy uh, yeah okay should i maybe, uh, maybe I should yeah let's try the headphones and sometimes the headphones yeah. Yeah. Now is it better? Much better. <laughs> That's what I was the airpods. Um, so yeah, uh, well, I'll explain where's Pax. So Pax is located in the neighborhood of Kugutsta, which is in Solna. And it's, I would say, 20 minutes by public transport from campus. And by bike, it's 15 minutes, which now that the weather is nice, it's amazing to bike. Yeah. Um, what else? Um, yeah, so basically, it's located next to a metro station from the blue line. So you are four stops away from T Central. And so I think it's good because you live kind of away from the city center as well. Um, like, yeah, so now it's in the outskirts. Mm -hmm. But still, you are, um, I mean, with public transport, it's super close from everything. Mm -hmm. uh, and then to go from campus, there's a bus, the 507, which takes about 15 minutes. So I would say it's really well communicated. And as well here, there's um, like the sea as well. So I don't know. I mean, the other day I were running and it was so nice because it's like there's forests and so there's a lot of nature as well. And it's kind of a residential area. Also, like, a lot of young people live here. Um, so, yeah, I, I think the neighborhood is really nice. Yeah, that's wonderful. And I do, like, I've been to Pax a couple of times. And it's very nice that the train station is right there. Or, like, that the public exactly. transport station. Yeah, that's really It's cool. a little bit different from the Solna campus. Because right. you have to walk and take the train. Yeah, and then there's also, um, like, a supermarket just two minutes away. And also, mm -hmm. well, uh, like, a more little, like, two supermarkets, let's say. A big one and a little one. And then there's also Solna Centrum, which is nine minutes away by bike. And you have there everything. So 
Yeah. I mean, I think like regarding amenities and transportation is really good. And you still keep this nature vibe, which maybe you wouldn't get in the city center. Yeah. So you, I know that you've recently moved here and maybe these things will change for you. But what's your favorite thing so far about living in PAX? So for me, I would say is the, the location maybe, because I don't know, I feel like, um, so in Solna, it was more like in campus. So it's more like a bubble, even though I love Solna. But here I feel it's also like, I don't know, I feel you have more more amenities and um, like transportation as well as, I don't know, you are super close to the sea. Um, and yeah, it's a little bit farther from campus. So I don't know, you are not just in campus. You have more things yeah. around maybe, yeah. <laughs> yeah and then in your case especially right like you got a chance to live right next to campus and now you're a little bit further and you're experiencing a different part of the city so. exactly yeah exactly. and I would say yeah, everything has as you said before everything, everything has its advantages and disadvantages mm -hmm. and yeah it's an experience to live you know <laughs> yeah anything that you'd like to tell people who are maybe about to move to packs so maybe some of the practical things like for example the kitchen like does it is it fully equipped do people need to bring their own um uh things there just to live comfortably or any other information that they should know before moving there okay. um yes yeah, so i would say um um yeah basically if you apply through sssv um I would recommend, well, um, yeah, if you apply to, through SSSB, rooms come unfurnished. So I would recommend you that once you get your room, you contact the previous person and try to see if they can sell you some stuff or like mm -hmm. give you the bed or furniture or even kitchen items. And regarding kitchen items, depending on the corridors, I think I have corridors that they share some stuff. In my case, I needed to buy anything, but I was quite lucky. And a girl that was moving out from PAX, she gave me a lot of things for free. So that was really good. But yeah, um, of course you also need to be lucky. Um, but if not, you can always go to Ikea. Ikea is really affordable and you can get everything there as well. Um, and yeah, I mean, you don't need to get everything from the beginning. You just get the basics and then you can just look through Facebook market and be like, buy more stuff. I mean, it's kind of an adventure. I don't know. I like to buy stuff. So I'm always looking for the best deals and everything. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I like that point, right? It's like, you all, we all need all of these different things, but then because these apartments, these rooms are shared by students, some people come and some people go and then there's like constant flow of, things that just are left exactly. behind or sold by other students, right? Yeah, and even though if you buy furniture in the beginning, it's like you have to invert on that, then, I mean, you can sell it again to the next person. So I think, I mean, yeah, I mean, maybe at the beginning, since you have to spend a lot of money, but then you will get it back, kind of. So I don't know. And, and also here it's really affordable. So I think it's nice if you have a more adjusted uh, budget for living here. Yeah. All right, good. I think we have some questions for you in the chat. How many Q days oh, did you? How many Q days, huh? Okay, um, this really, I mean, okay, I will explain my situation, but I have to say that it really depends on the time of the year because mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe middle of the academic year, you don't need much points, but then when it comes closer to summer, you need more points because people is moving more. Um, in my case, I had, I think, 220 points, approx. Mm -hmm. I don't remember the exact. But um, yeah, I mean, with that, I could get a room uh, at the, well, for 1st of April, but I applied mid-February already. So I don't know. I would recommend you um, to start applying for the queue for the queue in SSSB as soon as possible, but also be careful because you need to be subscribed to the association of the university and you cannot do that until you are uh, enrolled in the uni. But yeah, I mean, if not, as they will send you the PDF with all the instructions, or I don't know if they have sent it to you already, it's everything explained there. So yeah, I would recommend to start applying already for SSSB for the queue already in summer. So you have a chance to get it already April to in April, May, get a room. Exactly. So I think that's the best advice. Apply as early as you can. But then in terms of getting the different rooms, like Claudia was saying, it depends on the case and then a lot exactly. of factors too. Yeah. How do you get to Solna from Pax? Yes. So I explained it before. Um, so basically you can go either by public transport uh, with a bus, the, well, the 507. 
I guess it has a frequency of 15 minutes. And I don't know, you get there in 15 minutes. And it's really nice because it's a direct bus. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's good. Uh, in my case now, as I, I, I like biking here in Stockholm, I also go by bike. So, and by bike is as well 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. So yeah yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's really well communicated. So there's no problem in that. And then, so yeah, so that's the Solna campus here. And then, is it easy to get to the Solna center, like the the area in Solna? To Solna mm -hmm. Center. Uh, mm -hmm. So you can also go by bus. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've been going by bike. Well, when also when I was living in campus, I was going by bike. But yeah, I would say you can take the bus as well. But I mean, yeah. if not even walking, walking Solna Centrum is pretty close as well. Yeah. All right. Well, Claudia, thank you so much for being here today. Anything thank else you'd like to me. share? Um, we're so grateful that you showed your room. It's so nice. It's so nice and decorated. You. I hope that you enjoy staying in PAX even longer. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Thank you for organizing this. Really. Of course. Really nice. Thank you. Enjoy your Friday in the sun. <laughs> yeah, enjoy your weekend as well. <laughs> See. All right. Um, so that was actually all of the different housing options that we've shown for you today. We hope that you enjoyed listening and exploring Stockholm with us. Um, don't forget that this live will be posted onto Facebook and also Instagram a little bit later if you want to rewatch it and listen and see the different housing options. If you do have any specific questions, you know that you can always request a call from a digital ambassador. You can also email one of them ask uh, and ask for more information. Um, on this banner up here, we again have the email of the KI Housing. So reach out to them if you have anything, any specific questions and make sure that you explore their website beforehand as well. Thank you very, very much for watching. Also, thank you to all of the other digital ambassadors for organizing this. I hope that you found it helpful um, and I'll see you later. Bye.